we're back. <laughs> We've been gone for about two months. And I know some of you wondered where we have been, but it was the holidays. We were back in Kentucky for a couple months sitting still. And then I was working on a big project that I'm going to share with you today. So um, let's get to it. to share this with you. I've been working hard for about a year on this and um, as some of you probably know I am I was a certified personal trainer for years before we went full-time and I have really missed working with people helping them with their health and fitness so I have been working on doing online training for women so those of you ladies out there who are really looking to get fit and just find it really hard with this RV lifestyle then we need to talk because you can do this without even going to the gym so that's what I'm going to share with you and um, if you're interested all my information will be down in the description so now let's get on with those RV tours So this is a Grand Design Solitude that we have not saw. So we went through it and we think it's cool. We wanted to share it with you. So this right here, this is your washer and dryer and a coat closet. So whatever you want to use it for. And a huge pantry, which is awesome. And then you have your controls at the top. I love the fridge and these chairs. This is very pretty. It's got some sparkle, so I love that. Lots of windows. The lighter sofa color is very nice. Got all the seating. Big fireplace and your TV is going to lift up from here. Otherwise you can use your window. And a big nice island. Got the oven, which is a necessity for me. And then we're going to go upstairs. Bathroom. And so this closet is very deep. So you can put your towels and things in there. And you've got some more storage under the sink. And the bedroom. So the bedroom, You can walk all the way around this bed, so that is a major plus when you are making a bed. But we have these closets. We have some shelving up here. And also, down here. Lots of storage in this one, it's awesome. Got the dresser, and I love this because I gotta have my jewelry. So I love the jewelry. And then we have a big closet, walk-in closet, because we have our washer dryer in the front, so it's not taking up our back closet. And then the bed with some windows and a full-length mirror. Love that. So, I will look and see what the model is on this one, and I will put it down below. So, check it out. And this was not in our last video um, from Grand Design Tours, so I will link that up above and put it in the description as well if you want to check those tours out as, you know, we did that at the rally we went to. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. So I hope you like this one. Let me know in the comments if you like it. It's original RV. Okay, we found an interesting one. I think it's pretty cool. So this is the living area. We have a drop-down table. It's called a Pinnacle by Jayco. We have a love seat and a sofa with a storage ottoman as well. So that's nice. TV with the fireplace. 
Looks like the TV also will go down so you'll have your window area behind it. We have USB and a plug-in here on your island. And check out the oven and four burners, which is awesome. Pantry storage and nice fridge. Your residential fridge with ice and water, coat closet, all kinds of storage. Look up. Oh, and that's your controls. So you got a control pad under that one. On the top one is a little bit of storage up there. And then we have some right here too for something small. It's very, it's not very deep. Well, up the steps into this really cool bathroom. Two sinks lit with lots of storage in the bottom. And the shower is awesome. Open shower, got your bench so you can shave. It's really pretty. Then we have closets in the hallway for your washer and your dryer hookups. Up lighting at the top. Here's another closet for hanging. And this door is really nice. You could use it kind of as a mirror too. <laughs> bedroom is what I like the best. Look at the back of the bedroom. I have a nice sofa in the back of the bedroom, which is really cool. More closet space, drawers, and a fireplace. So you got two fireplaces in this. Television, lots of window space. And look at this, three drawers under the sofa. Got that nice sofa and more storage, window. It's really cool. I like this sofa. Nice. So I hope you like this one. I will look at the sale price for you. It is. Let me get in here. What is the price on this one? This one. Um, the sale price is $89,995. It's got 100% real wood. 6 point auto leveling and the regular list price is 118.834 and it's a 2020 pretty cool put in the comments what you think of this one I'd like to know so this is a fifth wheel pinnacle what is that? Outdoor entertainment. Outdoor entertainment. Got your TV. Nice flush windows. And there's shelving in the pass-through storage.
edition. This one is the Airstream International. Ninety-nine. It's uh, pretty cool. I like it. It seems more roomy than you would think. And it's got the red seats. It's a little bit different. It's more modern, yeah. The countertop is nice. Three burners. No oven. like this. I don't know how to open the bathroom door. <laughs> More details. It's a tiny sink and a tiny mirror. <laughs> This next air spring, we're in a classic unique layout. The nighter in the kitchen has, and then the living area with a pop-up theater screen. So nice for a movie night. Going into the bathroom, we have a cute little sink, nice windows, and then right over here we have a heated tail rack. So that's a cool. In the shower is a clothesline, so that's helpful. Right here we have a closet, and it is seat lined. As we go back through the living area, we have a nice kitchen sink, good size. Our burners and our oven. There are lots of windows, a television, storage of bed. So I hope you like it your stream.
Um, can you slide this way? Here comes another car. This is a new company called Alliance RV. And they're pretty. We like them. Look at all these windows. We've got some cool features in here, like hidden storage. Check that out. Barry actually talked about doing that to ours before we ever saw it. Television fireplace, but what about that fireplace? Look at this secret compartment. Yeah, you got all that storage in there. It's the other one we tried, it opened Bayesier. This is what I like right here. Four burners. Look at the size of this oven. That's awesome for an RV. We've got more storage above the fridge, above the microwave, big fridge, and a pantry. The pantry and a coat closet over at the door. We have steps. You can put your shoes under there if you like to do that. But this is cool right through here. Watch this. We have all these closets. They're lit. Watch your dryer set up. We've got up lighting right up here. There you go. And the bathroom. It is a really nice sink and lots of storage in here. And check out the shower. Residential shower. And then the bedroom is, comes with a king size bed. You have your USB ports down on the side next to the end tables barn style door closes it off and you want to put your shoes on you also can hide them right in there also for your jewelry and this is a plus for me I miss my tall jewelry box so you've got your seats on each side and a nice big closet with shelving behind it Long mirror, but it's very narrow. But it's very nice. You got a bookshelf over on the other side. Pretty cool. We like these. New company. And they only have fifth, fifth wheels right now. storage pass through storage right through there and it comes with what we installed on our RV the Mora CRE 3000 always installed so the price of this one is list price 90,898 show price is 69995 Cool. Check them out. Throughout the entire unit, um, a lot of the exterior features based off like the Asdale construction on the on the side walls. Um, just basically everything inside the entire coach is based off customer feedback. Like there's motion lighting inside of the um, pantry there. Every single cabinet soft close, every drawer soft close, every toilet soft close. King size beds are standard in this coach. Uh, just a lot of really good features that go into the product here. So, it's a brand new brand, but again, not new to the industry by any means. They're, these are built for full-time living. One of the things that's going to set them apart from everybody else in the industry is that they're not going to have like a standard warranty claim where you got to take it to the dealer, deal with all that kind of stuff. So if you have an issue, they'll send you the part and send you a mobile tech out to come repair it for you, which is huge. So, a right. fun product to pull together, just listening to customer feedback. Yeah, I think you got a lot of di different demographics, so I'm sure it's hard to put all that into one unit. Because you have your older crowd that likes one thing, and your younger crowd likes something else. Yeah. Uh, what we saw was a lot of common threads, though. I mean, this is more of an extended stay-type fifth wheel, so young, older, otherwise, there were some concerns. 
we were seeing the industry, Grand Design and otherwise, were having springs go flat and snap. Yeah. Uh, they were having tire blowouts. Um, if there was a plumbing leak, there there was a lot of things that needed to be addressed with some of that stuff that, I don't care what type of our beer you are, that's all pain in the butt. It is. Delamination, this is all stuff that we've addressed yeah. in the build of our product, just listening to customers and what their fears are. And, so what other floor plans you have? You said you have four. Yeah, we have the four here now, and then you guys have the rear <coughs> kitchen in the rear kitchen's coming. In that rear kitchen already. Oh. She likes the rear kitchen in the grand design. Yeah. Okay. You got the rear shirt. We do have the rear kitchen in there. This lineup will ultimately have eight, nine floor plans in it. We'll, we'll launch a floor plan about once a month for this line. You sticking with fifth wheels? Yeah, for the time being. Our next product line, which will be launched in September, will be 12 hours. And then we'll expand from there. We would expect three or four years down the road to have a fairly comprehensive line of mm-hmm. fifth wheels and travel trailers. But you gotta take it, take it in time. Oh, yeah. 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 In due time. Yep. Cool. And rush greatness, right? I <laughs> 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 really want it to be quality. Yep. So this is under the living area. That's pretty cool. So this is a park model. It's really cute. So we're into the kitchen. We've got a nice farm style sink with a everything's residential. So we've got this awesome island into the living area. We've got enough room for plenty of guests. Down to the hall, we've got have this closet. And then the bathroom, nice in the shower there. Going into the bedroom. We've got the closets in the side. Windows and the barn style closet door. Outside we have a porch with a fireplace and television and it opens into the kitchen. Now this one is a little bit smaller. Here's the bedroom. In the closet also has drawers under the closet. So that's pretty cool. Gives you a different option of storage. Now we have the microwave over to the right, refrigerator, dining area, lots of windows, living and kitchen area. It's a very open floor plan. And the bathroom, nice shower. So as you can see, we were in Tampa. Look at the beautiful water. Uh, that this was some of our favorites from the Tampa RV show. We wanted to share with you these tours, and we even added in a bonus park models, just for something a little different. So, what was your favorite? Probably one of my favorites was one of the alliances that we looked at just because of the quality of the build. They're a new company. They've only been in business for about a year now. and They just seem to have very good quality standards and they just seem to make a nice RV. Yeah, the Alliance was my favorite too. I like the one that had the washer dryer closet in the hall section. But one feature in a Jayco I liked was the sitting area, the sofa, in the bedroom. True, you had a slide inside of a slide. Yeah. So that was really cool. I've was, never saw anything like that. It was that. different. I haven't seen that. Yeah. And the colors in the Alliance is what I liked as well. I like the lighter colors True. and the, the big oven with the four burner yeah. stove. Everybody seems to be going to that residential style yes. oven now. So. It is needed for sure. So, we hope you enjoyed it, and um, like this video if you liked it, 
and you put down below in the comments your favorite RV that we showed you and then also subscribe if you haven't already and you can join the Castaway crew and we'll see you next time.